that great day, every soul going to be there. They're all going to be there. Every man, woman, boy and girl, old and young, all the wealthy and successful, as well as every penniless beggar, all the wise, the intelligent, the accredited, those with their academic excellence, every fool, the morons, the slow-witted, the powerful and the weak, the honest and the deceitful, the righteous martyr, as well as the human butchers who murdered the saints. The drug runners, the pimps, and the prostitutes, the false professors and the hypocrites, the timid, the fearful, and the unbelieving, all who love worldly life more than God, all going to be there. And everybody going to be stripped of everything that flesh and wit and world and wickedness has won for them. Everything that your own strength of your flesh, your own intelligence, your own wit, and your own wickedness and device, and your own hard work that you all you put together to protect yourself and care for yourself and ensure yourself. Comfort yourself. You won't have any of it. You'll be brought back to ground zero without money, without possessions, without power. more awful than anything else. Far as the unrighteous are concerned, without advocate, there won't be one voice in the universe to say one word, good for you. Not one. You stand alone. Everybody else worrying about himself. No voice. No voice. No voice to comfort. No voice to defend. None whatsoever. Even if I wasn't a Christian, if I had a hard day in this world, and everybody gave me a beating and a kicking around and a cussing, when I got home, I'd tell my wife about it. She'd put her arm around me and hug me and say, that's all right, honey, I love you, you're all right. Don't you pay no attention to that. It won't even be that. Not at all. Not. Credentials will be gone. All the honors and accolades that have been given to men, their worldly applause, the clans, the hands have stopped clapping. The fine robes with the medals and the honors and the crowns and the stations and the badges and the seals of authority and position. Gone. Naked. Nothing left, all gone. Everything that sets men apart and above other men, all that gone. Nothing to plead your cause. Nothing to plead your case for him. All things are open to clear with him with whom we have to do. He separate him. What we are. What we have done is crystal clear to him. We're going to be stripped of all of our pretenses. Our lies will avail nothing. The hypocritic veil that all of us wear is going to be stripped away. Now don't tell me you don't have it. You do. Why, that's why when you say something, when you want to be real honest, you say, well, to honest, I want to, 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 to tell you honestly speaking. Well, to be perfectly frank. <laughs> well, the reason you say that is you're not always perfectly honest or frank. You're a little hypocritical. All oh, that's going to be gone. Even those hypocrisies that you don't know about that you have, they're going to be gone. <clears throat> that's all going to be there. 
the exposure of every wicked deed and every impious thought. The Bible says every idle word that men shall speak in that day shall it be brought to account. All those slanders, that murmuring and railing that you did behind someone's back, every shameful thought, the most impious, the most lurid cogitations of your mind, every dirty word you've ever said, every bad deed weighed for its wickedness, and the full punishment pronounced for every one of them. all comprehended and weighed in this one awful, awful, awful final word. Depart from me, ye wicked. Get out of my sight. And the everlasting punishment prepared not for mankind but for the devil and his angels. You like the devil. You preferred the company of demons and the sweet, blessed communion of the Holy Ghost. You enjoyed them. They aided you. Now you can spend eternity with them and listen to their mocking and railing and accusations and share their eternal everlasting punishment. Don't get mad at me about this. Because I don't like that hellfire damnation preaching. There's too much of it in the Bible. We've been silent about it too long. Depart from me, curse said. God says that. The suffering Savior says that. The compassionate Son of God who, who died for me. He says that. Depart from me, ye cursed, in everlasting fire. But there's another aspect to it. Both the sheep as well as the goats are there. There'll be the revelation of every righteous deed, even and especially those of which we're not aware. Who gonna bring those out? The Lord is. He gonna tell us what we've done that's right. Now here on this earth you have men lie to you and give you flattering lips and brag on you and you know they lie and when they do it but you like to hear it. But the fact that men have said it and you know that men are deceitful and flattering detracts from the enjoyment of it. Dear Lord, when the Lord says it, dear friend, when the Lord says it, you know it's so. They'll be brought out and commended by the Lord. Every one of them. Not one cup of water given in the name of the Lord shall you lose it. Do you think about that? That there is utterly impossible for you to do one right virtuous deed on the face of this earth and that slip by without his notice. Very few people know how good you are. Not too many people know about your good deeds. Dear friend, God knows about them. Every one of them now you talk about a motivation. You want to you want to lay up some treasure. You want to prepare for your retirement, huh? And then that greatest, that most blessed, that ultimate in comfort, the sweetest sound that ears could ever hear. Come, ye blessed of my Father. That's what you are. You're the blessed of my Father. Enter into the rest prepared, not for the angels, but for you, from the foundation of the world. Oh, dear friend, just as sure as we sitting here breathing God's air this morning, you and I are going to hear one or the other of those two words. Come, ye blessed. Depart, ye cursed. So, would it be that you'd be ready to meet him, prepared for that great day, whether it come while we're living, or after we're dead, I'm going to make a bit of a bit of difference. We're going to be gathered before him.